So I'm here to solve the problem of the DIY rain barrel class that didn't go as planned. So basically the problems that came up were um, a question of trying to attach our half-inch faucets to the plastic rain barrels. Um, the supplied pieces included um, a metal fitting that goes inside the rain barrel to channel the water through the faucet, um, a rubber, um, sorry, actually a metal uh, washer that would go on the outside, and then a half-inch brass fitting that would be the faucet on the, on the outside of the barrel. The problem was they recommended using a one-inch bit to create our hole for opening and putting in the faucets. And of course, a uh, one-inch bit and a half-inch uh, brass fitting are going to be not snug at all. There was a lot of play there. And they swear that this is how they do it. Um, however, I can't quite see how you'd ever get a tight fitting. Um, they do use silicone to help secure that in there, and I, and I guess that would create a, a, an adequate seal. But we felt um, it would be much better to find something that fits snugly into the barrel and isn't going to involve silicone whatsoever. So something that's going to create a natural tight seal there on the rain barrel. So we'll show you the steps for how we solve the problems here. Okay, solution number one. So what we were looking for is some kind of a coupling mechanism that would fit into our one inch holes. We we're really concerned about not having to uh, um, sort of waste these barrels given that we had half inch faucets, pieces that didn't fit well, and uh, essentially uh, a bunch of rain barrels that were potentially not going to come together properly. So we were able to find one inch reducing couplings that would fit inside the barrel like this. Uh, one piece um, would be on the inside of the container, the other piece would thread into it, and we'd put some uh, plumber's tape around the outside there. We'd put a small rubber washer here, fit that together, tighten it up, and away we go. We've got a really nice tight seal. Um, we've got something that we can put our faucet into. The only thing that came up was um, our faucet, as it turns out, had to be a three-quarter inch faucet because we were not able to find a coupling system like this that um, uh, fits with the half-inch faucets that were supplied. So we've upgraded the faucets to three-quarter inch thread on this side and three-quarter inch garden hose leaving the faucet. So this is going to fit in here like this. Pretty good solution. It's definitely tight. Um, water's not going to leak out of there. It's still pretty challenging to get your arm as low as these holes are drilled. So um, we did use um, some devices to uh, sort of lower things in there and sort of get things in place. Um, used a wrench to be able to kind of get in there and tighten things up from the inside. But it's still not very easy. And uh, my concern would be that um, over time, if that loosens up at all, we still might get some leaking remembering that we're trying to avoid the silicone. So we came up with an even better solution. By the way, these parts we were able to find in Bloom, North Manitoba at Penner Farm Supply. So we knew there was a better solution out there. Um, we've seen this uh, available online, but it's hard to find this particular piece. Um, this is called a bulkhead. Uh, it's not available at regular hardware stores. Um, we had to find it at a specialty plumbing store. And uh, what's nice about this is that um, it's a reverse threaded two-piece unit um, plus a, a washer. One part is going to go inside the barrel once again. The other part is going to thread from the outside. Um, the unit comes into two pieces. So this is going to go down into the barrel. It's going to come out through the front. And then we're going to screw that on. Once that's all assembled, it's hard to remember the, the reverse threading. Um, but once you get the hang of it, so tighten it by turning uh, left. So you tighten that up. Once that's all tightened up and secured on there, we can take our three-quarter inch faucet and we can attach it uh, through the front like this and we'll have a very, very secure seal there. Once again, no silicone required. Um, this is going to be virtually uh, impenetrable, to, impenetrable to water once it's uh, on there in a nice tight way. And it's also really easy to tighten up without having to use accessories such as a wrench. Um, these pieces are a little bit more expensive, there's no question. And like I said, they're also hard to find. We were able to get them at B.A. Robinson Plumbing Supplies in Winnipeg. Um, but they didn't have a lot of sizes. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't have any for our half-inch pieces. So we had to upgrade to the three-quarter inch size. We're going to use something similar for an overflow valve, which is not something that was originally part of the rain barrel um, for the class, but we've decided to add that on there since we were able to get this really nice piece. And uh, it's just a larger diameter bulkhead. You drill a similar hole on the side there and insert this, and then um, there's a threaded piece that comes out. Once this is uh, all put together, you can have that out the side of the container. You can attach a larger diameter hose onto there, uh, use a clamp, and then you can have an outlet for overflow. Really easy. So here's how we've solved the problem of the DIY rain barrel class. 
We've done away with the silicone. Uh, we started by finding a nice coupling system, but we were able to finally track down the piece we really wanted, which was a nice two-part bulkhead that's easy to secure, is absolutely silicone-free, and um, it's going to be easy for everyone to put together. There we go. I'm going to get to work on fixing up these rain barrels, and if you have any questions about this, certainly just let one of us know.